What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Dip Top Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and this is Hansi Meyer. And we are at The Little Lake. And why are we here? Because I found it on Facebook and I thought let's have a look and see what the venue is like. So what we do when Hansi finds a cool new place is we spend one day there testing things out. We don't expect to catch anything but we go and we test and we try, try things and we cast around deepers and find features and then make a plan for the next time if we want to go back. And we only commit a day so that if we want to leave, we can leave at a moment's notice and we're not committed to two days or three days or whatever. So we're here doing just that. It's a lovely little lake. Um, it's a small venue, so only two swims maximum and each angler is around, allowed three rods each, but I'm just fishing two, you fishing three. Yeah, I'm fishing three. On your very, very nice pod. Yeah, it's a small compact one. We are sponsored for this episode. It is brought to you by cmfcarp.co.za. cmfcarp.co.za is an online website for all of your carp fishing needs. So it is your uh, end tackle, your luggage, your bivvies, your chairs, your rods, your pods, your you name it. If you need to use it for your carp fishing, they've got it. So we've got brands like Tracker, Signet, Solar, Witchwood, NGT, Nash, Nash Baits, we've got Rod Hutchinson, Bait Tech, we've got DT Baits, we've got CC Moore, Jag, and a couple other. All these international brands are brought in and you can get it from cmfcarp.co.za. It's a South African company, South African brand, so if you need your stuff, order it on there and then don't forget to type in the code ITTF123 for a 10% discount which is great and then all of the stuff gets delivered to your door just like that so yeah make sure to check it out should we get into the episode yeah we can do so off we went i took the right hand swim because i saw some fizzing fish next to the jetty armed with a nash bushwhacker baiting pole a helicopter rig with a semi-stiff hinge hook link we sent out the rig with a handful of pellets i wanted my rig right next to the reeds and right where the carp were with my second rig, I wanted it to be next to the lilies on the opposite side. So I cast a bear lead right over the dam, grabbed my baiting pole, my bucket and a rig and walked around. I have to say that this little venue is really nice. You can't really hear the road. It's not too far from Joburg and has a couple of 30 pounders in it. I'd say it's a really nice place to get away from all of the crowds. I loaded up the baiting spoon and pushed it out to exactly where I wanted my rig to sit. I placed it just off of the lily pads which I know the carp are sitting in. The carp like lily pads because they feel secure in it and dropping a rig nice and quietly is perfect because it's not going to disturb them and when they come out from their slumber they're going to be greeted with some bait. Now what setups did we use for this lacquer little venue? Starting off with my Nash R2s, they are tough, reliable and have just the right amount of features to cover all fishing situations. My pod is a modified Jackal T-Rock and on which sits my corked Witchwood Extricator 10 foot MLTs which are really nicely partnered with my Shimano 2500 ST bait runner reels. Then Hunsi's super compact black setup included Nash Dwarf 9 foot rods, Witchwood Extricator black reels, 30 pound braid, a pair of Nash butt locks, lol, which have a funny name but I liked them so much I got myself a pair. Then the pot itself which was designed and made from all kinds of different pieces, all of which are listed in the description. For bait we started off testing some brand new DT baits. So how has the session been? It's been quite quiet. It's been quite quiet, but it's been nice. It's such a lovely place to come to. Um, the bird life is insane. It's insane in the membrane. Come on, little Bathy. You bastard. Bath is not interested because my worm is as big as he is. See if something will bite it around that corner. Um, but yeah, having, having a good time. Hans is now using the deeper to check out uh, all the different spots because we came here and we didn't want to disturb swims and things like that with all oh, got oh missed him we didn't want to disturb swims with clapping in the deeper for ages while we find out what's happening so we thought we'd try fish it for a bit um using that nash pole 
uh, that baiting pole, it's fantastic. It's the best way to deliver bait as quietly as possible with a minimal amount of disturbance. Because a little dam like this, you want a fish to act as natural as possible. And when it's as quiet as this place is, the fish are used to no disturbance. And a big splash of a lead and stuff will obviously tell them that people are fishing for them. So that is our tactic, tactics anyway. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's doing fine. Um, I do would like I would like to spend an evening here. Um, I haven't ever fished here before, and we're just doing a a short session. Like I got here at eight o'clock, Hansi got here at half past eight, um, and we're leaving here at about six. So yeah, holding thumbs that we we pick up a fish. Apparently, it's a very difficult venue. We've got all kinds of techniques going on, um, but yeah, occupying myself with bass and kirpurki. Okay, so it's as easy as Senko. Usually it doesn't have a little floppy tail like this. Bass hook, little bassy hook. Hook him in the middle, just like that. And let this guy sink. And he's got a motion like this, but when he sinks, he just does this. And I don't know why, but it's the way it sinks and it's the speed that that it sinks at. It's quite, it's quite amazing. Oh, I got something. Didn't even feel a bite. Yeah. Oh, there you go. A rat bassy. Little guy caught. This is a senko with a little, a, a little tail. Just because it was in the in the box. This colour is good, this or watermelon, it's a great one. Bye bass. Yum. Yes! A uh, No, 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 no. Okay, there he is. Hello, Kirpriki. Caught on a spinner. Isn't that fun? Let me get it back. For the rest of the trip, I continued catching some rat bass for fun and kept an eye out for the carp movements. So that next time, when I do a session, I have just a little bit more insight into breaking the code of this lacquer little lake. I will definitely be back. I also just have to say a massive thank you to cmfcarp.co.za for sponsoring this video. If it wasn't for sponsors like CMF Carp and my patrons, Tip Top wouldn't exist. So thank you so much for watching. Till next time, tight lines guys.